hello and welcome to this Amcra support video. Here, we will show you how to configure motion detection on an Amcrest HCCVI DVR unit. Before we begin, please ensure you have set up local access via the web UI. Please see the link in the video description to learn how to set up your unit if you have not already. Also note, you must have an internal hard drive installed into your unit to store recordings. The HDCVI kit comes with a pre-installed hard drive, whereas a single DVR unit bought separately will require you to purchase and install the hard drive manually. Now, let's get started. First, we need to set up the recording schedule for your device. On your computer, navigate to and log in to the web UI. Once logged in, click on the gear icon located on the top right corner. In the main menu, click on the storage tab, then on the schedule option below. Please ensure you are on the schedule tab. In the channel drop-down menu, select the channel you want to set the recording schedule. By default, your DVR will be set to record continuously 24-7 as indicated by the green bar. Click on the Setup button next to your preferred day. In this window, you can set up time periods for your camera's scheduled activity. The current week schedule is set to record regularly from midnight to midnight for the full 24-hour cycle or 0 to 24 as it is shown in military time. Input the time periods you want the camera to record and ensure it is in chronological order. Then, select the recording type. There are four recording types available. The two most commonly used recording types are regular and motion detection. Regular records continuously, and MD records when motion detection is triggered. The other two recording options, Alarm and MD and Alarm, are exclusively for those who want to connect their alarm system to the DVR. In this example, we will select MD. Then, select the days you want to apply the recording schedule. When you are finished, click on the Save button and on the Save button again to apply your settings. You will notice the grid now displays a yellow bar to indicate it is recording motion detection. Next, we will configure the motion detection settings. In the main menu, click on the Event tab, then on the Detect option. Under the Motion Detection tab, please ensure the Enable box is checked. In the drop-down menu, select the channel you want to configure motion detection. Then, set the remaining settings accordingly. In the Period Setup window, select and input the time periods to record. In the Anti-Dether field, input the number of seconds you want to delay the recordings. In the Region Setup window, you can configure your detection area. A window with a live camera view will display with an on-screen grid. By default, the entire grid will be active for motion detection as indicated by the orange fill. If you click and drag across the grid, then you can deselect the active motion detection area. These blocks will be filled in with gray to indicate motion detection will not be recorded here. In addition, you can set up to four different color detection regions. These include orange, yellow, blue, and green. Simply select a color, then click and drag the mouse over the area in which you want to detect motion. In certain situations, you want to deselect areas on the screen where you will have constant motion. For example, a ceiling fan or other areas on the screen where you may have pets and other objects moving. This will trigger motion detection, causing you to receive unwanted alerts. 
For each region, you can set a zone name, sensitivity, and threshold. The sensitivity will measure the camera's ability to detect the speed of an object moving on the screen. Threshold measures the size of an on-screen object in terms of how many blocks it utilizes on the grid. By default, the sensitivity should be set to 60 and threshold to 5. This setting is sufficient for most cases. This is important as it will help eliminate any false positives or unwanted motion detection. To learn more about sensitivity versus threshold, please refer to the article in the video description. After you have set each region, click on the Save button. Then, set the recording options below and click the Save button. That's all there is to it! Thank you for watching! Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our other videos from Amcrest Technologies.